When immunotherapy is the chosen cancer treatment, a apheresis is the first step in preparing a patient's own cells to fight against cancer. Then we collect blood, it comes in the machine, um, it spins in a centrifuge which separates the blood cells and then we can collect a specific cell that we want. So stem cells, white blood cells, platelets, we can be very specific, um, collect what we want and then we give everything back. Brittany Neinheis is the aphresis coordinator for Avera Health in Sioux Falls, and she says aphresis is used after detecting blood cancer and fighting it by using a car T cell drawn by their own blood. They take the cell and they attach a car, a chimeric antigen receptor that can detect cancer in the patient. So then when they infuse that back into the patient, it can attack the cancer. Neinheis says the collection process takes around four hours to complete, and she says certain amounts of blood will be drawn depending on the patient and their doctor's prescription. It depends on the patient's height, weight. It bases it off their total blood volume. I would say a couple hundred milliliters is average. They monitor the patient's blood pressure along with calcium levels during the procedure. Our anticoagulant that we use to keep the blood from clotting in the machine can decrease the patient's calcium. So we do watch for that. First sign is numbness and tingling in the lips and fingers. And then we just give extra calcium if the patient reports any of those symptoms. Patients only have to do a apheresis once. After that, a drug manufacturer handles adding the car to the T-cells and a different clinic infuses them back into the patient's body. She says using a patient's own cells has benefits. Using your own cells reduces any risk of rejection or side effects of graft versus host disease. Um, and then the targeted CAR T therapy, um, very targeted to your cancer, so you have less um, general ke like chemo-like side effects.